here now we're gonna go through drawing the lips so the first position looks like a typical smile you can use your brush or you can go ahead and try using your line tool I find using the line will be easier and simpler for most people so I'm just going to go ahead and lock my head layer so once I lock that that does that means I will not be able to bother this layer unless like for drawing purposes and such so I can't really draw on that layer because it's locked so now I can only play with my mouth layer so that comes in handy when you're locking layers or hiding them so just lock mine so I'm going to go ahead and use a line tool so it's easier so let's do this thing first position in the mouth is a simple smile so I'm just going to go ahead my mouth basically. Right. So that's the first position. And you notice in my library tab here, I have my drawing substitution and my first drawing up here is mouth. And you have that one little line there. I need to make another substitution because for now I only have two the empty one and this one with the line. So I'm going to make a duplication. So I'm going to duplicate the drawing. Not duplicate the layer, but the drawing so I can make another position so I duplicate that one and now I have two one and two so I'm going to edit two so it looks more like the second position I can zoom in or isolate myself so it goes into the drawing so the next position is a slight open mouth so I'm just going to undo that First things first, let me change this option to snap the contour so it's a lot easier for me to draw these things. And I'm just going to contour it a bit. Right, and fill it in with white. White. Fill it with white. So, here we go. Back to camera view. So I have these positions and if you want to change or flip through your your drawing substitution for each layer you can press the little keys that are near your P to the right of the P which is the square brackets they go back and forth so you can try using those the square brackets are for scrolling through your drawing substitutions so back to my library I have this and this so I have this and this so you see that that's my progression so far next is a slightly more open mouth so I'm going to make another duplication and edit that one do, 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 do. This is on a bit. Change that color since I can't see it. Black contour. That really should be black. So making headway, yeah. And another line here. Contour editor. And I can start filling in my colors. So my tongue is red, the back of my mouth is all just put black for now. And my mouth is white. That's my next position. So I'm back here. So you can flip through. Right? Hi. Hi. No sound yet, so we're just going to keep going through the drawings. Position 4 is 
a wide amount. So make another duplication. So just so we don't get lost, I just wanted to, to see the, the positions again. So right now we're at, um, I think we're at, we're going to be doing D now. You notice how D looks a bit wider than C. So that's what we're going for. These are the positions here. So we're here now. We're going to do that one. I know they don't have to be exactly the same as you see there. You can make your own little modifications, but you do want them to be uniform. Red, black, oh no. So let's check that out. We have a problem right over here. See that there? It's orange, which means the lines aren't touching. So I'll have to do that. And I'm going to fill it in now. Whoops. So going through my library again, so these are my positions. See that there? A, B, C, D. Next position is a, a circular view. So I could actually just, you know, just start a new creation. So it's blank and then I can start editing from there. So I just use my ellipse tool get my line all black and all Whoa. right and get my line tool mm -hmm. and fill that in right wrong color red black so I have this Hopefully that's in the right position. Okay, it should be a little lower, so I'm just gonna carry this down a little. So it looks like right. I could make it a little bigger just just to be safe. And if necessary I can put my teeth in if I need to. Bringing it down, okay, there we go. Right, so the next position to this mouth is actually a smaller O. So we just duplicate that, six, and I guess we can either shrink it down a bit more. That's roughly okay. Okay. How's that? So I got my one, two, three, four, five, six. Out. Right? Like out. So that's what we got there. Bring it up again just so you see where we are. Now we are here. Next we need to draw this one, G. 
which is kind of like someone biting their lip, their bottom lip, like an F, like. And X and A can be the same. But I'll just do them all. Now we create something new because we're drawing something extremely new. Alright, so. Okay. That should have been white. That was a black. Okay, contour it all. And I will just, you know, oops, undo. Go back here and just draw this holy thing and draw a line going through them. Let me zoom into the hip. And get my contour editor, and it looks like that. Looks like um, he's biting his lip, like. And I fill that white, and then I kind of, I'm told kind of finished basically, but. Uh, like I said, I was going to draw that last bit there, X, Y, so I, I, I like that bit. So I can just pretty much just go to the first position and uh, duplicate it, and it will become the last one. So I have 8 and I have 1. You see that there? Looks good, doesn't it? Well, I hope it does turn out okay. Now, one thing you can do is you can... You can either leave them as they're named or you can rename them as you see fit. So let's say for example you have like a whole bunch of different kinds of mouth drawings in this one layer. So you can actually, you know, change it, the positions and such and you probably want them to look how or label them how you want them. For this exercise though or this little tutorial I'm just going to rename it A, B, C, D, E, F. G and X. Why? Just like it was laid out here, it's going to analyze the sound and go along with these positions. So the software is actually built in with its own way of, you know, putting stuff together. So I'm just going to label it, or rather show you how it's done. I'm going to. So I'm going to extend my mouth frames now. F5. The mouth is all the way over there. So here comes the easy part. What you do is you right click, you go to lip sync, you go to map. First you go to auto lip sync detection, which means it's going to analyze the sound for you. Analyzing sound, mm, no wish. Right there. Okay. And then you go on lip sync again after right clicking on the sound waves itself. And you go to map lip sync. And we'll have the source layer, which is the name of the sound. You have destination layer, which is the layer that's going to be using these, and where we're not using the symbols. So you have the mapping A, B, C, D, E, F, G. For my end, though, they were labeled 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I'll have to change them here. Or I could just. That's one way you can do it, right? Or, and I would press OK and it would do the thing for me. And you notice how these are changed up here? And let's hear what he says. Starting from frame 1. Oh wait, I didn't turn on this thing here. See, that thing allows me to play sound, so I need to turn that on as well as this. So I'm turning this on. Turning this on and I'm gonna press play again. Hello. So that's lip syncing right there. Let's hear it one more time.
so that concludes how lip syncing is done I'm just going to go through that one bit where you can rename your drawings so here we have these positions oh by the way you can actually manually go ahead and change the positions here so if you notice in 10 to or from what's this frame 7 to frame 15 is the same you can actually go in between or if you notice there was some sound before mine and I don't want him to speak according to that sound so I can change these back like this one back to 1 so you can manually edit your sound it just does the automatic part for you you can adjust it anyway which way you so desire now let me just rename these and let you see so I'm just gonna come here where it has mouth 1 and you can go to drawing and it says rename drawing so I can call that one A so A is down here so I'm going to go through that again press ctrl D which, which is the shortcut and I just pan through three control D C D D So after doing that, it's still it kind of looks it's the same, but you can reanalyze or rather go map lip sync based on this and press A, and it does the same thing for you, and you can play again. So that concludes lip syncing. Hope y'all enjoyed it. Hope you all go try it. Remember, it's easier to practice these things than to just watch a tutorial. So put these into practice and keep on doing what you're doing. You know. All right. Take care. God bless. And check out Proverbs 21. It's got some really cool stuff in there. Encouragement and rebukes and corrections. Later.